I've learned anything when it comes to DIY project, the success is in the prep. I painted these samples on the wall. These are my final four. This white dove is too white. This is Revere Pewter, which is in the top two, creamy white and Edgecomb Gray. I think these two are my final. And I did paint it directly on it, which is probably not the best color representation. So now I have primed this cabinet and I'm going to paint it on there so we can get a true color. Okay, now that I have all the cabinet doors off, the next step is going to be degreasing and deglossing them. You can see it has this glaze. So my approach for the cabinets is going to be using a brush and a roller to do the frames because I'm, I'm gonna spray the door fronts, but honestly, there's just too much overspray to do it by this. So I'm gonna do that part by hand. We're gonna start using this liquid sandpaper. I'll do the fronts and I'll do all these spaces. And then after we do that, it'll be time to prime. I'm going to prime it with this the bullseye thin 123 primer and uh, then we'll be ready to paint. Open this up. The guy at the hard horse store shook it up for me, so it should be pretty pretty ready to go. Okay, right, we are using a two and a half inch trim brush very fine and I would recommend going with a more expensive trim brush angled because we don't want a lot of brush marks so I'm gonna start here and work my way work my way out I am going to continue to prep. It's taken me like three days to get all the prep done, but that's because I only have a few hours a day that my kids are at school and that's when I try to do everything. So again, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And 
We're just gonna do it as we can do it. So I have these all primed. What I'm going to do is take just a little 80 grit sandpaper and check some of the cabinet doors for where there might be some overdrip from the primer. Can you see? Like right in here. And I'm just, I want a really smooth surface. So I'm just gonna take this with my hand and kind of go over any little areas that it might have clumped up or a mist or it dripped over. So this is not full blown sanding. It's just taking this by hand and just getting rid of any of those, like I said, where it might make the surface uneven. So I think one of the reasons that I feel confident in taking on this massive, massive painting project is using the right tools. So thank you to Wagner for sending me this Flexia. It's just the most beautiful handbag I've ever gotten. Some girls get excited about purses. I get excited about power tools and paint sprayers. So this is the Flexio 3000. Uh, what I'm excited about is that it seems very easy to use. I've never used paint spare, never. I have done smaller paint projects and uh, I'm gonna watch a few YouTube videos. So that's, you know, if you wanna learn anything, you can learn anything on YouTube. And Wagner has some great instructional videos too. So lighter spray gun, more control, cabinets, furniture, interior walls. I am excited. I'm excited to use this baby. Let's get it, let's get it open. Um, oh, I got her name wrong. Thank you, Christina from Pretty Distress for your video. So I'm doing it at about a five. I had to make sure my nozzle was down and I've got a medium amount of things coming out and that's looking much better. So now I've got another cabinet. I'm gonna test it on, not an actual one, but one of the ones that I tested the colors on just because I wanna see if this is just a piece of plywood. All right, before I spray paint, I'm not spray paint, before I spray the front of my cabinets, there are about six drawer fronts that I wanna change the hardware on. So right now they had two small pools and I've ordered one long 12 inch pool. That's kind of like a, a new little up, way to update your cabinets is doing the really large door pools. So I'm gonna do them on about six of them. So first I need to fill in the two holes I'm no longer going to use. I'm going to do this using this plastic wood filler and a putty knife. You could also use Bondo, but we're gonna see if this does the trick because the holes are not that large. Oh, that was the wrong one. And don't do what I just did. <laughs> Maybe mark the ones that you don't want to do. <laughs> it's early. My coffee has not sat it, has not set in yet. This is how I work. I just got back from taking my kids to the pediatrician. We got shots, it was a little stressful. So how do I unwind? unwind. How do I unwind? I wanna paint. That's what I wanna do, it relaxes me. I just put a little bit of the Revere Pewter on the trim. It's gonna look so good. It already looks so much fresh. I mean, it's amazing how just the solid color looks so much cleaner and updated than that glaze that was on there, which I thought I liked. So you can see it here, it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look perfect. All of the testing was totally worth it.